Hey, what's T YouTube fam? It's your girl TK, and today I have decided that I wanted to get online and speak to you guys about Mr. Barack Obama. Of course, you guys know that he is the face of change, honey, and we love some good change, darling. Now, number uno, I don't know if y'all realize it, but Homeboy actually has a book, and it's called A Promise a Land. And my question to you is, number uno, did you buy this book? And if you haven't, why not? Like, really, why not? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, I really didn't buy this book. I, I just need to put that out there, okay? This book was actually kind of given to me and um once it was given to me it was some information in this book that i found very interesting and some deets that i really want to go over with you now if you bought this book the first thing that i want to know is did you read it as of yet? And if you read it, what part of this book did you found interesting? Now, I want you guys to know something. I haven't had an opportunity to really deep dive in this book because my life has been hella busy. But there's some facts in this book that just sticks out to me that I want to share with you guys. And the first thing that we're going to speak about is publication. Now, the first thing that you need to know is who was the publisher of this book? The publisher of this book is Crown Publishing. Now, you can go to uh, excuse me, crownpublishing.com to read more, research more about Barack Obama and his book, A Promised Land. Now, of course, we all know the author of this book is Barack Obama and the book title, The Promised Land. You know what's tea. What's tea. And um, I don't know if you guys know this. But um, in this book, it talks Promissa. Now, pr Promissa, by definition, is the promise, you know. And if you guys don't know, um, a couple things that Barack Obama did other than put, you know, insurance together, you know, which is the Obama insurance, the health care coverage, he also put a board, he established, he created a board to assist with debt, Okay, that was his responsibilities. And he did that in Puerto Rico. Did you know that? Yes, it was it was actually Barack Obama who did that. I found that very interesting. Now, um, with that being noted, um, I want you guys to also know Barack Obama also was the person who kind of was a part of Osama bin Laden's era. Now, if you guys don't know, Osama bin Laden is considered a terrorist. You know, this man, he came to the United States with a goal, a mission, and that was to destroy. He destroyed buildings. He killed lives, caused casualty in the United States just for a mission that he strongly believed in. And, um, it would all forever go down as September 9-11 attacks on the United States. Now, I want you guys to know something, if you guys aren't aware. Now, if you guys don't know, I should say, on May 2nd, Osama bin Laden, the founder and first leader of the Islam Islamist, I cannot say that word for nothing, y'all. But I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to start this over. On May 2nd, Osama bin Laden, the founder and leader of the militant group Al-Qaeda, was shot and killed at his compound by United States Navy SEALs, SEALs Team 6. Al-Qaeda confirmed bin Laden's death on May 6th, post made on militant websites. Now, Barack Obama, the face of change, he dealt with health care. He dealt with death. He dealt, excuse me, not only death, but he dealt with debt. And he dealt with a terrorist via 9-11 attacks. And he was the one who caused or he was the one who gave the word to kill Osama bin Laden. This is what this book is telling us. And it's going to be published by the queen. Mm. Now, ain't that interesting? So if you have a chance, I want you guys to research this book. Read this book. Have a better understanding of uh, Barack Obama, his struggles, the, the, uh, the challenges he's faced as the president of the United States. The challenges that he will continue to face as a minority. I don't know if y'all realize it, but he tried to, as of recent, have his uh, library established. 
um, as the first president of the United States. And they basically found um, some basically racial, uh, what do you call those things? Like a rope that hangs up, uh, that was used to hang minority men and women of color. And they just had to halt his construction of his building. Yeah, so it's a lot of stuff that Barack Obama has been faced with, challenges he has faced with throughout time. But he has, you know, basically persevered. And if you are interested, you should definitely check out this book. It is definitely giving interesting. Read it. Enjoy it. And let me know what you think. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. Bye.